Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can use Coinbase step by step to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies step by step. So let's get started. All right, so when you want to set up your Coinbase account, you have to go to www.coinbase.com and then you click on get started. So this is the quickest way to sign up with Coinbase. You can also put in your email address here. Just to quickly point out, Coinbase is available in 33 countries, so all of the countries are listed here. So you can pause the video and have a look to see if your country is listed. Once you click on get started, you need to complete this form and after that you will need to confirm your email address. So this is the menu area. You have the dashboard, which is where you will be or land when you first sign up with Coinbase. If you want to view the different cryptocurrencies that Coinbase offers, you need to click on view asset. And here's where you can see the timeline or the trend for the different cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, for example. Here's the 24 hour trend. This is the weekly trend. You can see there was a sharp drop from 4,800 all the way down to 4,100. So you can have a look at the different trends and you can look at the all time trend here as well. On the right hand side bar, you can buy and sell Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies simply by clicking on this button here. Of course, you'll need to add your payment method before you can do that. And from there, you can also buy other cryptocurrencies if you scroll down. OK, let's go back to the dashboard area. You can do the same for all the other cryptocurrencies. Now, something Coinbase offers is to buy a bundle. And what you can do is you can invest a certain amount of money, like £100. And Coinbase will allocate that £100 to all of the cryptocurrencies that they offer. So most of it will go to Bitcoin, then Ethereum, Litecoin and Ethereum Classic. And this is weighted by the total market value of each asset. Now, if you want to buy and sell cryptocurrency, you need to click here where it says buy and sell. And you need to select the cryptocurrency that you want to buy and sell here. And here you need to add your payment method. So click on the arrow pointing down and then click on add a new account. So you can link a UK bank account if you are based in the UK. And I highly recommend this because you pay very little fees. So 1.39% of fees and the transfer is usually done within two hours. So very quick. If you are not based in the UK, you can um, do a separate payment or transfer. And this is for European bank accounts. This usually takes between two to three working days. Again, you pay 1.39% of fees if you use the bank transfer option. And then you have the credit or debit card payment method. And once you link your credit or debit card, you can pay instantly for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But bear in mind that you have to pay a fee of, let me just show you that. So you will have to pay a fee of 3.99%. So that's quite a significant amount. So just bear that in mind. The fees are quite high if you're paying with debit or credit card. On the plus side, though, is that you will instantly be able to buy or sell your cryptocurrency. In order to add your payment method, click on the arrow on the right and then just follow the form. So add in your details and you can link your card or bank account that way. So once you have done that, um, if you want to buy Bitcoin, for example, so we have Bitcoin here. Um, say £1,000 worth of Bitcoin, you type in the value here. This is the amount in Bitcoin. And then you'd simply click buy Bitcoin instantly. It says here instantly because I'm using a payment method is the visa, my visa debit. That's why it's instant. But if you have a look at the fee, it's £38 of £1,000. So it's quite a significant amount of fees. And so if you can wait, it's better. All right, so this is how you can buy Bitcoin. If you want to sell Bitcoin, for example, you click on sell here, you select the currency like Bitcoin, and then you select the wallet where you want to transfer the money to. So you can either select, in my case, it would be the Euro wallet or the 
GBP wallet. If I select the Euro wallet, it means that I can transfer the money from my Euro wallet to my SEPA bank account. And if I select the GBP wallet, I can transfer the money to my UK bank account. And then you obviously again type in the amount that you want to sell, which will translate into the Bitcoin amount. I don't have anything, so obviously this is zero. And then you can sell. And of course, again, you have to pay fees for that. All right, now let's move on to accounts. So for accounts, if you want to do a bank transfer, you can do that here. You simply click on deposit, click and then continue and just follow the process and fill out the form. You can also do a SEPA transfer, which is a European international bank transfer. And you again, click on deposit. Once you follow the process here, it will deposit the money into your euro wallet and as i mentioned the fees are much lower in this area here you can see how much bitcoin you own uh, bitcoin cash and so on and so forth and in this area here you can see your most recent transactions in the settings area there are two things that you need to be aware of one is your buying limit so um, if you just start off using coinbase you will have a buying limit of about a thousand pounds a week which can increase to quite a significant amount once you add in your personal details. It says here, once your Coinbase account is set up, you'll be able to buy small amounts of Bitcoin, so worth $1,000 worth of Bitcoin a week. In order to raise your limit, you will need to do the following. So to provide and verify phone number, personal information, and photo ID. Once you do those three things and you are buying and selling Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, your buying limit can go up to 25,000 K a day. So obviously that will increase over time. So it can take a few months. And secondly, security. So let's just go to security here. If we click on security, it's really important to set up a two factor authentication. And you can do that with your phone. What you need to do is download the app onto your phone and then link it to your Coinbase account. And whenever you sign into your Coinbase, you will need to add in a PIN number. And this is for extra safety. Also, if you want to buy and sell cryptocurrency, you will need to add in your PIN as well, which will be sent to your phone. So you can link your phone by clicking here and just following the process. Finally, let's click on preference. So you can choose the currency that you want to use. I'm using British pounds. Make sure to save that. And here you can edit your email preferences and make sure to save that as well. Also just to point out, if you use the link which I provide in the description box to sign up with Coinbase, so if you haven't done that already, then let me just click on this. It says invite your friends. What happens is that both of us, so you and me, we'll both get $10 worth of free Bitcoin. And that is if you sign up with the link that I provide in the description box, so check that out. And of course, you will need to also invest at least $100 into digital currency, which is uh, 77 pounds, just to be aware of that. So if you want to do that, feel free. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.